at the Nelson Atkins Art Museum in Kansas City. Fran Adria had an exhibition. I had a chance to head over there and interview him, obviously. Fran Adria is one of the most famous chefs in the entire world. He had El Bouli, which closed a couple of years ago. And I'm going to be making one of the recipes from his book, The Family Meal, which are very simple recipes. I'm going to be making a fried cod and green pepper sandwich. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna get started on this sandwich, which is a very traditional Spanish dish. And throughout this book, there are so many very simple recipes. And I was thinking about making a soup with miso and tofu and clams that was part of the book, but I decided that I wanted to make something that was very traditionally Spanish because that is where Fran Adria is from. So here's my fish. I'm using cod because traditionally that is what would be used in Spain, but also it fries up really beautifully. It's very flaky and it's a, a really nice fish for this kind of an application. So in my pie plate, I'm just gonna put two eggs. This is just regular all-purpose flour, nothing special about it. And then I have my cod. I'm gonna slice the cod into strips. I'm going to just drop the cod into the egg and put a little bit of salt on and then coat it in flour. You want to make sure that it's thoroughly covered, but you don't want any excess flour on that fish. One of the tricks when you are frying uh, something that is coated in flour like this is that you want to allow the item to sit for a little while. That way the coating actually adheres much better to the surface. I am going to get started on my cod and my green peppers. This is, again, super duper simple. I'm just gonna take these peppers and put them in oil. I'm gonna cook these until they kind of blister on all four sides, and then I'm going to salt them. I'm using green bell peppers because they were like really, really beautiful peppers. You could also use a poblano or an Italian long sweet pepper. There are a lot of different ways that you can approach this, but I'm going with just straight up green. You can see how it's just starting to blister. I want it to begin to get brown, so this isn't quite where I want it to be yet. The pepper's moving. <laughs> They're dancing around the pan because its skin is starting to blister. So while I'm blistering these beautiful peppers, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my cod. And the trick with frying is that you don't want your oil too hot or too cold. If it's too hot, it's going to burn. It's gonna cook way too fast on the outside and you're not gonna cook everything all the way through. If it's too cold, what happens is the oil gets absorbed into the coating. And you don't want that either because then it's greasy. That's not, that's not what we're going for. So this has been preheating for a while. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my fish. When you're frying, you want to make sure there's enough room in the pan for each one of the pieces to be very separate because if you push them too closely together, they're almost in effect going to steam, kind of like when you're trying to pan roast something. You wanna make sure there's circulation around each one of the items. When you take this out of the fryer, and you just wanna go ahead and put it on some paper towels to absorb all the excess fat, but you wanna sprinkle salt on it right away so that salt kind of melts into that hot, crispy exterior. All right. Okay, I'm going to finish everything up. I have my cod lightly fried over here and my green peppers next. I'm just going to slice up some bread and pop it underneath the broiler to give it a good toast. At this point, it couldn't be more simple. You just take your slice of bread, generously add a layer of mayonnaise. Then we're gonna go ahead and slice up this pepper. 
You want a little taste of Ferran Adria's cooking? Look no further than cod with roasted green peppers and mayonnaise. If you're looking for the recipe, it will be up on feastmagazine.com in the Feast TV recipe section. Thank you very much for joining me in this best of season episode, and I will see you next time. <laughs>